two of my reverse osmosis deionization system rebuild, also known as a roadie system. So last we left off, I needed a new pressure gauge. And this tells me the pressure leaving the particulate and the chloramine filter going into the reverse osmosis system. I wanna add a couple more gauges to the system, but that's not today's project. So for right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinstall this and uh, get this thing mounted back up. I don't know if I'm gonna get it back into operation today, um, but we'll see, you'll see. So I'm gonna put this right here. This is way better than um, Teflon tape. You just gotta keep it out of the... All right, and then this is gonna get a little bit hairy because this gauge just kind of fits in here, but it, it'll work. as good as that's going to get. So, all right, that's step one. So, part of this project is to relocate this filter so it gets less sunlight. I, I really don't like seeing algae in my particulate filters, but it's to get it up here um, out of the way. So, it's actually going to go right there. So, um, this would be a whole lot easier with two people, but you know, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that I generally fly solo. That looks pretty good there. So we'll move that out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to mark the spot with the drill. doesn't have to be level to work correctly but 
I think it just looks better if it is. So that's why it's leveled. sure that I'm going to switch to um, using a carbon block filter because it's a pain in the ass to deal with little granules and anyway let me go get some uh, cartridges and I'll be right back. Alright so I've had these for a minute. That's the five and this is the one. Slightly cleaner one, and there's really nothing to this other than don't torque them on because they're going to be hard enough to get off as it is. This is a five micron. I do recommend using them in two stages. It'll make them last longer. I do generally replace them both at the same time, and as you can see from the crap in the water, our water's kind of nasty here. So. Uh, Give me a minute, I'll be right back. So, I'm using my Fantic uh, micro screwdriver set. It's probably one of the nicest power screwdrivers I've ever owned. Uh, it was about 30 bucks on Amazon. And it has a huge assortment of bits in it. And, uh, so we'll break these loose and then we'll let it do its magic. Because I have carpal tunnel, um, it's just it hurts my hands to turn screws. So I try to use power screwdrivers whenever I can. But I needed something that was less uh, that was geared for small screws, and that's where this comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see. All right, so it's two of these batteries. I'm almost certain that these are dead by this point. And the universe, but I might actually have some of these. Three, five, seven, A button cells. All right, back. Let me see if I have these. So I didn't have three, five, seven A's, but I do have some other button cells that are LR44, and I suspect these will work just fine. Um, so I'm going to stick them in. Yep, works just fine. I don't have a whole lot of confidence in this. This is a really old unit. It's at least seven, I don't know, it's probably 12 years old. So we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll replace it. Um, they're not very expensive. Recycle this, I'll be right back. So, similar to the other one, we're just going to pop up in here. Now, behind this uh, hardy siding, or fiber cement siding, there is plywood. And I already know there's nothing in the wall, because I built the wall. Now, 
this is absolutely disgusting, but we're not bringing this online today, so we're just going to slide it back on here and leave it in storage mode. And by storage mode, I'm not even going to completely engage these. That's our discharge. Um, it actually needs to be pointed up, but that's okay. It's really not a big deal. Yeah. So one of the other things I like to do is to keep my um, I like to keep my my wrench for my filters right next to the filters. That gets the filters remounted. Um, the next thing I need to do is really need to bring a piece of conduit in, uh, and I haven't figured out quite where I want to run it. I have some ideas, but um, I need to run conduit up and over to get it into the garage, and then I got to decide where I'm installing the boost pump. Out here looks really good. So that'll be part three. It's not today's project. <laughs>